So, I already recorded this video like 10 minutes ago, and when I tried to put it in the editing software, it turns out I recorded half my commentary, so that's fun to deal with. But, uh, I kind of want to do a video like this where I just record the YouTube, you know, Sonic Frontiers will premiere gameplay, and just sort of just pause the video and just talk about what we are, what we are talk seeing. And I guess you could say, because there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of good things about this gameplay trailer, not game trailer, uh, gameplay from what we saw of Sonic Frontiers, but there's a lot of things that have issues with the game, but I'm just gonna start it and just sort of just talk about it while this gameplay video goes on, I guess you could say. Because again, there's a lot of good aspects about this uh, gameplay reveal, but there's a lot of issues I have with it. Again, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video. Um, if you don't want to see, hear any commentary from me, just go to the description below and watch the gameplay yourself. Because I'm going to be talking about this entire thing, so sorry about that. I'm also going to be cutting out stuff where I, there's going to be long pauses or I just don't talk. So there's going to be a lot of cutting back and forth, but I, I don't know. I, I will, it'll be interesting to see how I edit this video, but again, enjoy the video regardless. So what we have right here is the first, I guess, shot of the Sonic Frontiers gameplay, which I just want to say the positives, positives I have right now is that the game looks fucking gorgeous, dog. The environment looks outstanding, honestly. Like, I gotta give them props for the amount of work they've done to the like the environment, and it's it, it's it's really nice to see. And you know, the model it looks like a mix between the forces and the 06 model which I thought that will fix I thought the forces model was kind of a placeholder but I guess it's just here to stay and we're just gonna have to fucking deal with it even though it's not the forces model in my opinion it's not a bad model I just wish they're they could have updated it and make it better but oh well again we're here for the gameplay bit so it doesn't really matter in my opinion and as you can see here we have the climbing bits even though we can just run up the wall like what the dude did here but uh the first issue i have with this game is that i i hope that once this game comes out i hope that the game the, the game allows us to run it in like i don't know 14 40p 60 fps rather than like 4k 30 fps which 4k looks beautiful but i'd rather play the game at 60 fps than um higher i guess 4k or whatever the fuck you would call it what I'm trying to say is I'd rather play the game at a, at a higher frame rate than what they're giving us here. So I just hope they can show us gameplay of, the, of this game looking at 60 FPS because it'll just make the game look that much better in my opinion, of course. I also see here some people on Twitter have issues with random railings and random like shit in the sky or whatever the fuck. But if you played like a Sonic level, you could see like random railings in the sky. Okay, hold up. I'm going to pause it right there. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna give myself time to talk for a bit, but like right there, you can see like random railings in the sky and shit like that up there. But in my opinion, I don't have a problem with that because if you play a game, let's say Sonic Forces for example, um, you can go to like the city levels and you can see random railings in the sky as well. So in my opinion, it doesn't it doesn't really affect me all that much don't really have a problem with this because I kind of expect that in like a Sonic level so essentially the open world aspect of the open zone aspect is just one giant ass Sonic level but the other thing you can kind of see right here yeah you see the random pop-ins and shit like that that that's an issue you even see it up there that's an issue that you're running this game on PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X and PC hardware and yet we're still having random pop-ins and shit like that. They, they really need to update the, the what would you call it? the draws, the draw sets or whatever the fuck. They need to update that so they can don't have random pop-ins in it uh, like that. Um, I do understand that this game's like this is like what we're seeing right here is like beta slash alpha stages of the game. But again, they need to update the pop-ins and just make sure that doesn't happen throughout gameplay while we play the game or that happens during the final product, I guess you could say, because th that's an issue for me, in my opinion. But like I said before, the environment, you can see on the water and while we're upcoming up, the waterfall, 
It looks really, really fucking beautiful. I really do love the environment we have so far. The trick system, to me, it looks really, really clunky, honestly. It doesn't look good at all, so they probably need to fix that as well. Either have like a better trick system or just don't have it at all. Yeah, the waterfall looks really fucking pretty. Yeah, you see the random poppins and our textures lo textures loading in. They need to fix that because they're running the shit on like next gen hardware or on PC, which is probably the most definitive way to play this game, honestly. Now they did say that Oh, I read somewhere that developers took inspiration from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So they are going to have puzzles like this, which it's okay in my opinion. As long as the puzzles are like, um, easy to understand or I guess not, not like, not too hard to complete, then that's okay in my opinion. I'm not sure if that, I'm not sure if that made any sense, of course. Now I've read a leak somewhere, I it was covered by every Sonic tuber known to mankind, that if Sonic runs in a circle, that brings up like the skill tree or whatever. I think they're showing that off here, but they're showing off in like a different way, if that makes any sense. Of course, they're gonna have collectibles that could possibly have something to do with the story of this game, which is, again, the gameplay they showed off here, it, it's cool. It's fine. Um, I like the environment, I love the open world aspect, but I wish they could have showed off like the story aspect or um, showed off any combat encounters because we never we don't see any combat in this game or in this game gameplay I guess you could say. In the teaser trailer they had yesterday, they showed off a little bit of the combat and I wish they could have done the same thing for that here. Showed off at least some aspects of the combat, like fighting like giant fucking mechs or whatever. But they never show that here. They just showed off like the gameplay of like the open world aspect and some of the uh, puzzles in this game. Which again, it's cool, but I wish they could show it off like, again, story elements, special stages, or uh, the combat again. Because, I don't know. Like again, I'm excited for the open world, but I just wish they could show it off more stuff in this game, especially that we know about. Take example like Gotham Knights, which is another game I've been covering on this channel. The, the gameplay trailer they released a couple months ago, or a couple weeks ago I should say, they did show off the open world aspect, but they also showed off some story elements in that game, and I wish they could have done the same thing for that here, instead of showing off shit like this, but again, they did say that they're going to re uh, release more information about Sonic Frontiers throughout the month of June, so, which June is Sonic's birthday month, so I'm guessing that we are going to see uh, more gameplay clips of Sonic Frontiers. Um, possibly like more story elements or possibly like Sonic like fighting giant ass fucking mechs or whatever the fuck they're called. Which that would be cool to see honestly. Or I guess they're saving like the big or like the bigger like stuff for game, for stuff like uh, game, game events like Summer Games Fest which is happening. I'm going to restart this. <laughs> Which is happening, like, I believe next week? It's happening on June 9th, which I know is next week, but I can't remember what day June 9th falls on. But I guess we're saving bigger information for stuff like that, but again, I wish they could have showed off more of the game, more of this game, like combat and shit like that, but I guess we're gonna have to wait another day. But, like I said, the gameplay we have received today, I do like, I do, I am very excited for the open world aspect, but. The stuff like the draw distance, that's that's the that's the fucking name. The draw distance needs to be fixed. It needs to be updated to run at 60 FPS rather than like 30 FPS because it'll make the game look so much better at 60 FPS. Um they need to fix the stuff like textures loading in. But other than that, the game looks fine to me so far. It look it, it shows a lot of promise for this game to be really, really something special. But I just wish they could show off more of the game. Again, in summary, the gameplay looks fine. Just fix the draw distance, fix this uh, frame rate, and I think the gameplay looks good. Just wish they could show off more of the story elements and the combat a little bit more. But other than that, it looks okay in my opinion. Not good, but okay. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, stay to this channel if you want to keep up to date with more Sonic Frontiers news and updates. And uh, yeah. Peace.